Hi, I'm Jeff Towers. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about April 5th is pretty crazy in history, in music. <sighs> Subscribe. That's the thing you need to do right now. Everybody knows that April 5th was the day that Kurt Cobain uh, committed suicide. And that was a very dark time in music, especially in that genre, which would be the grunge rock genre. Uh, it seemed like it affected everybody in different ways, uh, either severe th sadness, depression, or uh, inspiration to make more music, which is the case for me. What a lot of people forget is this is also the day that Lane Staley passed away as well. Similar situation, although it wasn't suicide, it was a drug overdose. Um, I don't know much past that. And I've been a fan of Alice in Chains for a very, very long time. I've even had the pleasure of working for them. And I gotta say that that camp is incredible. And um, again, when I worked for them, it was well, well, well after the passing of Lane. So I never got to meet him but I did meet the remaining members and it was a pretty cool day. But this day is also the day that Jim Marshall died. Now, you're probably like, people that are in the guitar world know who Jim Marshall is right away. They're like, oh yeah, Marshall amplification, absolutely. Um, pioneer, legend. And uh, all of those things are true, yes. But did you know that he was also into drums? He started a drum company in the early 2000s um, called uh, Natel Drums. Um, smaller company uh, trying to ride on the Jim Marshall name. Uh, some people were cool with it. Some people were definitely not. I've been going to the NAMM show for 15 odd years. Um, broken up, not consecutive years, but broken up over a period of about 20 years. And I have one really strong memory of meeting Jim Marshall at uh, the NAMM show. And that was, I met him in passing in a booth that was right beside Marshall. He was obviously done his day. And, and I, I saw him signing from literally the doors opening to the doors closed huge line all the way down. Everybody wanted to meet Jim Marshall because he's a legend. He is absolutely a legend. And he's kind and he's friendly and he's, you know, personable. Um, in this moment when I met him, I said to him, wow, you are the hardest working guy at the NAMM show. And he told me, no, I'm not. I'm just signing my name. And that alone you know, he's, his, his passing is sad as well. Uh, and ironically enough, happening on the same day as those two other legendary music guys in the genre that his amplification basically helped create. So if you think about it, without Marshall amplifiers, without that kind of broken up, gritty guitar tone, you probably wouldn't have grunge rock. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe below. Have a great day.